This is the question of 2017 October November paper 1 2 and the question number is also 12. So it says the diagram shows a solid cube, this is a solid cube with weight W and the sides of length L. So L here, uh, L, uh, L and uh, L as well since it's a cube. It's supported at rest by a frictionless spindle, spindle which passes through the centers of two opposite vertical faces one of these faces is shaded so this front face is shaded as you can see in the video as well the spindle is now removed and replaced at a distance here here which is equal to l by 4 so this is l and this distance is l by 4 to the right of its original position so when viewing the shaded face what is the torque of the couple that will be now be needed to keep the cube at rest so once we fix the spindle here this thing will try to rotate like this this thing will try to rotate like this it's because the weight acts in this direction the weight acts in this direction vertically down and it will create a uh, torque the torque will be in anti-clockwise direction so this torque will be in anti-clockwise sense actually so now if i have to uh, stop it from uh, um, stop it from rotating or if i have to uh, put it at rest so i must produce some sort of torque like this so i have to produce this sort of torque which will be in clockwise sense so the torque that I have to produce will be in clockwise sense. Now going through its magnitude, let us see. Uh, let's find the magnitude of this torque. So it will be, the force will be weight. So torque is equal to the force into perpendicular distance. So the force here will be equal to weight of the cube which acts uh, along its CG into, this will be L by 4. So the anti-clockwise torque is WL by 4. So if this thing is to be uh, brought to rest or if this thing should not rotate, then the clockwise torque should also be equal to this value. The clockwise torque, the clockwise torque should also be equal to this value. So it is WL by 4. And the choice that supports this is WL by 4 clockwise. So it is choice number B.